Good morning. Hello, everybody. Hope we're all right. Hello. Good morning. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Hope you're okay. Hi. Good morning. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. What an exciting day. Good morning. Oh, it's so nice to see you guys. Hello. Let's see who we've got on. Just getting things sorted. How are we doing? Good morning, everybody. Let's see. Hello to Noah and Oscar. Hello. Good morning, Jack. Good morning. Good morning, Jenna. Good morning, Hannah. Good morning, Lila. Flory and Violet. Good morning, and Sydney and Henry and Laura. Good morning, Ava and Poppy. Hello from Andy and Avi. Hello, first play along. Oh, welcome. So glad you could join us. I'm hoping it's going to be very Blue Peter style today because I've even made one already. I was having a little practice and it's a good job I did. Wait till I show you what I made the first time round. Good morning. Hello, Harry. Hello, Emily. Hello, Violet. Hello, Daisy. Hello, Isla and Leo and Jay. Good morning, Nathan and Elizabeth, Ruby and Arian. Good morning, William and Amelia. Really nice to see you all. Hello, everybody. And Natalia, we'll have to stop in a minute. We'll have to get making because it's uh, there are a few processes today. So I need you to, um, we're going to have to all stick together. Good morning. Ella Louise, Amania and Lois. Lewis, sorry. Summer and Aurora and Sophia. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, Albie. Really nice to see you. So this morning is a special because do you know what day it is on Sunday? You might know what day it is on Sunday. It is, it is Father's Day. But actually what we're making today, you can make whether it's for Father's Day or you can make it for someone special in your life. So shall I show you what we're gonna make? I'm gonna say the last few good mornings because they're just coming through and then we're gonna get started. Come on, Gus and Rupert and Rex and Rupert and Griff and Cleo. Oh, Cleo's first play along, welcome and Lois and Izzy and Rufus and Laurie and Mia and James and Harry and Emily and Elsie and Freddie. Good morning. Lovely to see you all. I'm going to stop there because I want to get started. Um, so this morning we are making these amazing, it's like a big badge and actually it's called a rosette and we're going to make some rosettes today. Now on the front of mine I've put best dad because we're going to give them for Father's Day. But like I said, this could be to give to anybody because you can write your own special message on the front and you can give it to anyone you want. So I've done one for Best Dad for Father's Day. You can make yours for whoever you want. And I'm going to show you how we're going to make our rosette. So this is what we're making this morning. Shall I show you the one that I, when I had a practice, it looks fine. It's just absolutely huge. Look at this. <laughs> it's massive <laughs> it's bigger than my head it's absolutely huge so you can make a huge one if you want to uh but it would make it very hard for anybody to wear that you're giving it to so i thought maybe we'd make a slightly smaller one i did laugh when i made that this morning so for this this morning i'm going to show you what you're going to need you are going to need some colour card or paper. I've used, used different colours for mine, but you can use whatever you want. Now to make one this size, which is still pretty big, however, there's a lot of folding for little fingers. So I think, I don't think you'd want to go much smaller than that. I think it could get too fiddly. So I have got lots of pieces of card and I'm using half A4. So I folded A4 in half and just chopped it in half. So I've got different colours that I'm using for mine. You might have all white and want to colour it in. It's completely up to you. You're also going to need some tape. We're going to get through a lot of tape this morning. You're going to need some felt tips for writing your lovely message on the front for whoever you're giving your rosette to. You're going to need a pair of scissors. And then you're also going to need a safety pin. But don't panic if you don't have one. I cannot find one anywhere in our house. I'm using a little paper clip. So a paper clip or a um, safety pin would be great for this if you've got one. If not, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all, but I'm using a little paper clip for mine. And this is what we're going to make, all right? So, shall we get started? I think we should. I think we should get started because there's quite a lot of processes in it. I want to go nice and slowly 
so you can follow everything that we need to do but there is a lot to do so our hands are going to be very busy this morning i'm just gonna not quite comfortable okay so i'm gonna put our little rosette aside so this is what we're making guys as you can see first of all we're going to start by doing the folding to make this lovely uh, zigzaggy pattern that goes around the edge so we're going to do lots and lots of folding and then we're going to cut out a circle and write our message on the front i've done best dad you can do whatever you want to do yeah i had to write it backwards to work so i'm just checking it does actually work um and then after that we will be pinning a badge on the front whether it's a pin or a paper clip and we're all going to, also going to um take on some ribbons as well so that's what we're going to be doing okay so lots of folding nice big circle with a message and then we've got a pin and the ribbons at the back so there's quite a lot to do isn't there so should we get started right so this morning i am using color card paper would work fine as well and to make one that size i am using this is a4 cut in half so i have got a4 and i've just cut it in half because you're going to need three of these. They don't all have to be the same color, but you need three to make the circle for your rosette. So we're going to use three halves and you need them in the halves. You need three pieces. I've then also got another piece for doing the nice circle on the front with a nice message. Hello, Meg. And then I've got another color to do the ribbons at the back. But like I said, if you've got white, that's fine. Maybe you could always add some color in, do some coloring in and jazz it up and make it all fancy and rainbow colors with your pens and your pencils or you could just use whatever you've got at home so we're going to start with these okay so putting those aside i'm going to lose them aren't i so let's put them there i've only got a little table for chatting to you guys okay so we've got three colors anyone tuning in these are half of a4 and what we're going to do is we're going to fold it but i need you to use the long side so if you have a look at your card it should be a rectangle and we're using it this way with the long side at the top. I always think it looks like uh, a box or a bus, doesn't it? It could be like a bus with wheels on. Or what else is that shape? What else is that shape? I can't think of anything else. Shoe box, maybe. <laughs> so we are going to do it this way and you're going to need this long side. Now what we're going to do is lots of folding. And we're going to do, it's quite fiddly when we are folding our card. So I'm just going to show you have a quick go because we've got to do this on all three cards so what we're doing is we're folding one way and then we're going to flip over our card and fold it back another way grown-ups may need to be on hand for this just to get them in the rhythm of folding so can you see that we're folding it back on each other and then fold again so it's a concertina and we're flipping it over and we're folding anyone tune in we're folding on the long side of your card we are making rosettes for Father's Day. You may want to give this to someone special in your life. Or actually, you could give this for any day, couldn't you? Nice for birthdays, tell someone how special they are. Any day. So we're going, just moving along. Take your time. Yep, just what I'm saying. White paper is absolutely fine. You can colour it in afterwards. You can add your own colour. That's no problem. Okay, so once you have folded it should look a little bit like a fan you see that you see so it looks like a zigzag that's it okay how are we getting on how are we getting on okay so we folded it could you let me know how you're doing how are you getting on guys Okay, and then once you've done that, super well done, good job. And once you've done that, all we're going to do, it is A, um, not A3, A, is it A3? No, it's not, it's A5, isn't it? It's half of A4. It's half of a piece of A4 and you're gonna need three of them. Yeah, sugar paper's fine. Mine's a bit like a sugar paper. Super, okay, and then once you've got that bit, all you're going to do is then fold that in half to make it look like a fan. Ah, ah. <laughs> there we go. Fold it in half. And give it a good squeeze. Good job. And then you've got a bit of a fan there. And then, I'm very conscious these people have got multiple children doing this, that I don't want to go too fast. 
all we're going to do is take a little bit of our tape I'm going to stick our fan together so can you see I'm just bringing it together I'm just going to put a little bit of tape on there just stick it together so it looks like a fan for keeping cool in the hot weather not quite hot today is it so we've pinched it in the middle and then we're just folding it and then I've just taped it at the top so it looks like a fan <sighs> and while I wait and check that you guys are okay I will just find myself they're nice aren't they nice for making fans okay and then we're going to do the same with the other two pieces so fold in Constantina fold in this way that way this way that way and then fold it in half and stick it together so should we carry on so there's one it does look a bit like a shell as well doesn't it okay so just the same this is half of a four so that's a five isn't it, it goes smaller in the number yeah I'm trying to work it out and i'm folding it along the long side a little bit fiddly so we don't i don't really want to use paper much smaller than this i think it'd be a bit, a bit tricky we're folding it this way and then we're folding it that way and then we're folding it this way and then we're folding it that way so how are you getting on do you keep me posted do you say you need me to slow down but we're just doing the same now to the other two pieces there we go keep pressing it really hard keep those folds in it starting to make a bit of a zigzag isn't it there we go oh give it a good good squeeze make sure it's all folded together okay and then once you get to this bit what you're going to do is put your finger in the middle and you're going to bend it in half and you're going to make a little fan ah ah i think we'll make fans one day shouldn't we that'd be nice okay and then just going to take a little bit of tape and take that one together as well my teeth I do love making things I really really enjoy making things is anyone else I love that you can take something boring like paper and make something so fabulous and whoever you are giving these to as a little present they are going to be so pleased they're going to love them because it's such a lovely thing to get something that someone's taken the time to make isn't it always means so much okay so now i have two fans how are you getting on are you doing okay i'm trying to get nice and slowly could anyone give me a bit of a hint how are we doing are we okay thumbs up heart emoji let me know how we're doing yeah we're okay we're okay good 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 okay and then oh it does someone saying it takes me back to my childhood making things i think it does and i think it's so calming and relaxing it's why crafts are so important for adults to do as well not just children good to have hobbies so we've got two fans there and we're going to make our last one now aren't we doing well we're doing really well doing a batman one in black and yellow oh i love the idea last one with lots of help no worries it's a bit fiddly and just remember guys it's really important boys and girls try and do as much as we can on our own i know it's a fiddly one today it's not about it looking perfect does it someone's joined in we joined late so i have no idea what i'm making shall i show you shall i show you what you're making you're making a rosette we're making rosettes for father's day to give to people that we love so this is what we're making at the moment so, so far we've got two fans and we're just on our final one this one whenever i see that i keep thinking it looks like little shells doesn't it i really like that one someone is making a green one nice what am i doing right i'm too busy talking and i'm not concentrating on what i'm doing so we're folding this way and that way and then this way and then that way and then this way and then that way i like this bit 
your children like making things out of paper. There's some brilliant videos on YouTube with origami and things. Children can make. There we go. So remember, just give it a really good squeeze. Fold it down so we don't lose those lovely folds. And then once you get to that bit, once you've done the fold and you've got your little zigzag, it's all springy. Put your finger in the middle. I'm just going to fold it in half. There we go. And give it a good pinch at the end. Keep it together. And then I'm going to add a little bit of tape at the top to help it stick. Well done, everybody. Well done. You're all doing really well. I can't believe we've done this bit already. We're doing great. We're doing absolutely great. So you should now have three fans. One. Uh, no, it's, it's a full A4 chopped in half, so it's A5. Okay, right then. And then all we're going to do is we're going to put our pieces together to make a circle. And we're going to tape them because you're going to have to stretch them a little bit. So all I'm doing, I'm placing it together. This is a bit when it gets really tricky to, we're going to stick it. Can you see? So you've got three and then it will actually fit. You just have to you just have to pull it. So I'm going to put a little bit of tape on, on the back. And I am now taping them together. Can you see that? So you take the two together. Whoops, it's hard to do it holding it midair. <laughs> there you go. All right. So we're tape, starting to tape them together now to bring it round to make a full circle. Another bit of tape. I told you we're going to use a lot of tape today. A lot of tape today. We nearly used glue and I'm glad we didn't because I don't think it would have been strong enough. And then finally, it should reach and you should make a lovely circle. Aren't they gorgeous? Do you know what? Even if, so we're making rosettes with them this morning, but you can make some really beautiful decorations in your house with one of these. Don't you think they're so pretty? Could do them in all sorts of colours. Maybe if you're, next time you're having a party or something, you could make some of these. They're so much fun to make. Put another bit in there. How are we doing? You're managing to take them all together. Tape three together. That's it. Just pop the tape, tape, tape. How is everybody getting on? Are you okay? Have you managed to get your three fans stuck together to make a circle? Don't worry if the middle bit goes like that. So we'll be sticking the circle bit on the front and we'll be sticking the, the pin and the ribbons on the back. So, <laughs> thank you. So we are making, just to recap, we are making our uh, rosettes. And so far we have done the lovely big concertina circle. And now we're going to have a go at doing this bit, the bit in the middle before we do the ribbons on the back. So now we're going to put like the badge bit on the front where we can put our special message for the person that we love, the special person in our life, whoever we want to give it to. So you should have your circle. So the next bit now is we're going to make the front of the badge where we can put on our special message. So I'm going to put my fan to one side. We don't need it just at the moment, but don't lose it because we are going to need it in a minute. Okay, and then grab your, if you've got a different colour, that's great. If you're using white paper or card, that's fine as well. Okay. Yeah, it will all be saved on IGTV, on Facebook and on YouTube. Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. Just trying to find a pen. Okay, let's actually pull it out so you can see what I'm doing. I should do that, shouldn't I? Okay, so all we've done now, if we've taken another piece of card, gone for a different colour now, but like I said, it doesn't matter. And if you've been using tape, this is really handy because we're going to use this to make a circle. If not, you want, might want to draw one freehand or you might have a cup or a glass that you can draw around. And I'm just going to get a nice pen and I am going to draw the inside of my tape to give me a nice circle but don't worry if not you might have different tape whatever <clears throat> I'm just going to draw a circle and then we're going to cut it out 
take your time, use your scissors. Again, doesn't need to be perfect, guys. It's all about the fact that you are making somewhat, making something for someone you love is just such a lovely thing to do. They are going to love it. So take your time cutting out your circle. Doesn't have to be a circle. Maybe a love heart would look nice, wouldn't it? Whatever you want to do. And then now is a good time to have a little think. Have a little think about what you're going to put on the front of your badge, on the front of your rosette. You might want to do a nice picture. You might want to write a message to the person that you're going to give it to. Completely up to you. Now, I am doing it for Father's Day. So I'm going to put on mine best dad and maybe some love hearts, but you can do whatever you want to do on yours. Might want to do a nice rainbow. I know we've got lots of rainbow fans on here, haven't we? Now, I hope you all appreciate how quickly I am able to write backwards. <laughs> it's just a skill I have. There we go. So I have written my message. Take your time to do your message or picture. You might want to put on some love hearts as well. Make it look really cool. Rainbows. Put on lots of things that you think you're, whoever you're giving it to will love. Okay. So I've got my got my badge there and all we're going to do is now stick it onto the front of our rosette makes it look really can you see it's all coming together isn't it aren't we doing well as long as we don't run out of time for facebook then we're all right for instagram then we're all right and we don't get bumped off okay so do your message and then once you've done that we're going to use tape again and i don't know if you know the trick about if you don't have double-sided sticky tape about folding it back on itself so you get the sticky side, the sticky side, this side, the shiny side. And you just loop it over and stick it and make a loop. So you're making double-sided tape. Did you see that? And then you stick it on the back. And then you can stick it on the front of your rosette. I'm going to do that one more time in case you missed it. Okay, so take a piece of tape with the shine a bit on the outside. And then you're going to fold it in to make a loop to make some double-sided tape and stick it on itself. And then it works like double-sided sticky tape. Okay, you can stick it on like that. And then you can just pop it on Oops. to the front of your rosette. Just give it a push. Give it a good push. There we go. How are we doing? How are we getting on? Everyone okay? And then we've only got one more bit to do. We're doing really well. So anyone just tuned in, we are making our best dads, our Father's Day rosettes, who, like I've said, you can make for anyone, not just for Father's Day. So we've done our the rosette bit with the badge at the front. Now what we're going to do, the last bit, working on the back, we're going to put some ribbons on. And if you've got a safety pin or a paper clip, would be lovely. And then they can, then of course, whoever you're giving it to can wear it proudly. I'm sure they'll be so pleased. Okay, so once again, if you're doing okay, we're going to put this on the side. And we're going to take, I've gone for another colour again, but don't worry, like I said, don't worry if you're using um, all the same colour. That's absolutely fine. Okay. And with this piece, all we're going to do is we're going to cut two long strips, make them nice and chunky, not too thin, two long strips from our piece of card. So all I'm going to do, I haven't drawn a line, but you might want to, if that would help, is I'm just going to cut up, up, up to make a long, thin rectangle. It looks a little bit like a pencil or a lamppost or a stick something nice and long. We've got two strips. I'll save that other one for later. So now I've got two long strips. Okay. How are you doing? Are we okay? And then all we're going to do to make it look a little bit fancy, because it is for Father's Day, to make it look a bit fancy, we're just going to cut the ribbon 
cut two little triangles out of the bottom to make our ribbon look nice. So all you do for that, on the end of one of your pieces of cut, your um, strips is we're gonna put, cut a little triangle. So you go in one side and in the other. A bit like the roof of the house, isn't it? Pull that out. You see that? And then on the next one, do the same. Snip, snip, snip that way, snip that way to make a triangle. Pull it out. Might use those for something else later, couldn't we? Okay. And then we are going to put them together. If you do them like that, you might not be able to see them. So maybe put them a little bit apart, like you're making another roof of the house. And just put a little bit of tape on. I'm just taping them together. There we go. Oh, it looks a bit like legs, doesn't it? That's a good idea. Tape it to look like legs. So a little bit of tape on the top to tape them together. And then take one more piece. And we're gonna tape it onto the back. So that's the front with your badge on. You're gonna turn it over so you've got the back where you can't see anything. And we're going to tape that onto the back of our rosette. You might just have to give it, feed the tape between the, the gaps or whatever, just to get it to attach, to get it to stick on. Are we all okay? Are we doing okay? How are we getting on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Well done. Don't these look lovely? We're going to have lots of very happy people. So you've now got, hopefully, your rosette with your badge on the front, some ribbons, and then I wonder who remembers what was that last, last bit that we needed to do so that whoever you're giving it to could wear it. That's right. We're going to put a pin on. If you've got a safety pin, that would be nice. That would be good. Or if not, I can't find any safety pins. I'm going to use a paper clip. I'll use a different one then it shows up a bit better. Before it shows up. There we go. Got a paper clip. I'm going to just pull it apart slightly and you're just going to use a little bit of tape to attach it on. So I pulled it apart a little bit. Feed the tape between. It almost makes like a little hook and then they can hook it onto their shirt or their pocket or whatever they're wearing on that special day. And then finally, because you've done really well, we're going to tape it on the back. If you can see what I'm doing, I'm just taping my pin on the back. That's fine. You don't have to have a pin. I'm using a paper clip. If you don't have one of those, don't worry about it. Just the rosette itself, I'm sure, would look lovely. So someone's going to wear it as well. And there we go. Hopefully, you have been able to make your rosette. So we did the, can you remember, we made three fans, didn't we? We did the circle badge on the front. We did the ribbons on the back. And I've got a paper clip on the back. If you've got a paper clip, a safety pin, you don't have to have one, doesn't matter. They can just hold it. And there we go. So, how are you getting on? Doesn't matter if you're still on the circle, take your time. It's very different for me doing it here on my own to me doing it <laughs> sat with a child, don't forget that. <laughs> so never rush. All right, well, I'm gonna leave it there because that's 30 minutes I've been on Instagram, so I'm a bit scared that I'm gonna get bumped off soon. Um, so, well done, everybody. If you're still making, don't worry, you carry on. And I'd love to see a photo of what your finished rosette looked like because I bet they look wonderful. And I hope whoever you are giving them to, whether it's this week or wherever, I do hope that they love them and I know that they will because you've worked so hard on them. So thank you very much. I hope you have a lovely weekend. Happy Friday and I will see you soon. Do send me your photos of the rosettes that you've made. I'd love to see them. Um, and yeah. Right, thank you very much. Oh, lovely. That's really lovely to hear. Thank you. Well done, everybody. Well done. Yes, I'd love some pickies. If you don't mind, I'd love to be able to see them. All right, see you on... Well, see you next week. I've not even thought that far ahead yet. See you next week for another week of Play Along Lives. Bye, guys. Lovely to see you. Happy playing. <laughs>